Hi everyone, myself Navya Taravi, working as assistant professor in the Department of Cyber Security and Data Science in MLR Institute of Technology. Today, I am going to discuss about the topic normalization. The overview of my presentation includes what is normalization and the purpose of normalization and the types of normal forms. So, we have basically six, six types of normal forms. 1NF that is nothing but first normal form, second normal form, third normal form, BCNF stands for boys quad normal form which is also called as 3.5 NF and fourth normal form and fifth normal form. So, in today's session, let us discuss about only uh, the purpose of normalization and first normal form and second normal form. Before going to deal with all these normal forms, what is the purpose of normalization in DBMS? So, the purpose, the main purpose is to eliminate, to eliminate or to reduce redundancy, to reduce redundancy. So, what is meant by redundancy? Redundancy is nothing but duplication of data. That means maintaining the same data into or more tables or relations. So, that is what the purpose of normal form to eliminate or to reduce the redundancy of data. Next, these are we have five types of normal up to six types of normal forms. Let us discuss briefly about normalization and let us go through with the types of normal forms. So, what is normalization? It is a process of organizing the data in a database. So, which is used to minimize the redundancy from a relation or a set of relations. So, in the context of DBMS, what is a relation? It is nothing but a table. So, in the format we used to store the data in the form of tables that means which contains the rows and columns right so here to minimize the redundancy redundancy is nothing but what duplication of data duplication of maintaining the same data into or more tables that is what redundancy is meant for so to reduce or to minimize those redundancy that is what the main purpose of normalization and it is used to eliminate the undesirable characteristics like insertion anomaly, updation anomaly or deletion anomaly. We have already discussed about these three types of anomalies in our previous sessions, but briefly let us uh, uh, discuss now what is insertion anomaly. If I want to insert a data, I want to, I, I am forcefully insert, I want to insert forcefully some other dummy data that is what insertion anomaly. I want to insert some data, useful data. Along with that forcefully I have to insert some dummy data that is what insertion anomaly. Anomaly is nothing but what a problem right. Next what is updation anomaly? If I want to update, update one row and that updation must be done in all the rows, in all the rows subsequently. If at all I, I forgot to update even one of the rows then the data will become inconsistent. Right. So, for that IO cost may takes place that is what updation anomalies. Next what is deletion anomaly? If I want to delete one data forcefully I have to delete some other useful data that is what deletion anomaly. So, these are the problems which can be reduced by using this normalization concept. Next normalization divides the larger table. How? How we can able to reduce by decomposition by the process of what decomposition. What is decomposition? What is decomposition? This also have already discussed in our previous sessions. Splitting a table into two or more sub tables that is what we called as decomposition. So, here we use this decomposition concept in normalization. So, normalization divides the larger table into smaller table and links them using relationship and we used to divide one large table into smaller tables. Then how can we use to relate these two tables by using one relationship by using foreign keys or else joins right. So, these kind of relationships we should maintain to, to represent the relationship between these two sub tables that is what the thing here. Next the normal form is used to reduce redundancy from the database table that is what our ultimate goal. What is the normal forms here types of normal forms which is used to reduce the redundancy. So, let us discuss the types of normal forms now.
So, as I told you in the uh, presentation overview of my presentation, we have 6 types. So, first normal form shortly as 1 n f, second normal form shortly as 2 n f, third normal form shortly as 3 n f, b c n f boys quad normal form which is also called as 3.5 n f, next fourth normal form and fifth normal form. So, in this session especially we used to discuss the first two normal forms what is 1 n f and what is second normal form 2 n f. So, what is first normal form? As per the rule of first normal form an attribute or the table must contain atomic values. Atomic values means that column must contain only single value not multiple values that column must not contain multiple values. So, here let us uh, uh, discuss this definition with an example the following example here I have already uh, taken all the three columns roll number name and course. So, you might observe for roll number and name we have only atomic values atomic means only single values right. So, for column course we have multiple values see here I used to represent C along with C plus plus multiple values. So, what is 1 and F the rule of 1 and F as per the rule of first normal form an attribute or a column this is the column right. So, column of a table cannot hold multiple values. So, here we have multiple values as per first normal form we must not contain multiple values. So, that is the reason we used to we used to reduce this one or else we used to split this one into different uh, sub tables any other or we can add some more extra column whatever the uh, whatever the answer might be. So, we used to ultimate goal is the column must not contain multiple values. So, what is the simple method here by using this table I can convert this one as 1 a b c c. Next again I used to represent the same 1 a b c c plus plus. I used to convert why because the same column must not contain multiple values it must contain only atomic values or single values right. So, I used to write 2 rows here in the same manner 2 x y z java next 3 p q r c and again I used to write the same row 3 p q r d b m s why because this uh, 3 row number 3 has enrolled in C and DBMS course also. So, here I can represent I can convert the above table into this one that means see this table does not contain any multiple values right. So, this table can be in 1 and f, but, but here also redundancy exist, but here also redundancy exist what the same type of data here see. 1 1 a b c a b c the same data we used to represent in 2 columns right 2 other separate rows the same data 1 roll number 1 a b c roll number 1 a b c the same data this is what redundancy is meant for. If at all I used to represent the table like this then what is the purpose of normal form we used to re reduce the redundancy right. So, again we need to refine this table into another format how right. So, let us see that one also the same thing which I have explained before slide I have uh, splitted this uh, the same row into C and C plus with this I can remove the multiple values, but still here redundancy exist redundancy exist. So, for that I used to represent like this see the the second way to represent this one to remove redundancy 1 a b c uh, 1 a b c course. So, with that C and uh, here before representing this one let us uh, represent the structure first roll number name. Let us take here course 1 course 2 course 1 course 2 for representing the second course then I can represent here course 2 right. So, 1 A B C this is the first person who enrolled in C who enrolled in C and the same person who enrolled in C plus plus that is what the thing. Next what who is the second person number roll number 2 which is nothing but x y z course 1 Java only roll number 2 enrolled only for one course that is what Java. 
So, what about second course that must be null, this is what null, why because he does not enroll any other courses also right. Now, let us see for third one, 3 rule number 3 PQR here is it, he, he is the person who enrolled in C and the same roll number 3 who enrolled in DBMS. In this way, we can able to reduce the uh, somewhat some percentage of redundancy, right. So, here no redundant data 1, 2, 3 these are all unique, right. No redundant, no repetition has been done here, but there is one small drawback in this method also. What is that drawback? See here, if at all, most of the students prefer only single course. Most of the students, let us assume that most of the students prefer only single course rather than choosing multiple course at a time. Then, then what here in course 2, most null values will be represented, right. If at all a student enrolls only single course, then for example, 4 x 4 x p q, he, this is the name here for example, d s data structures he enrolled and this is what he does not enroll null, right. Again next student, he, d he used to prefer only single course and the second course will be null. Then the database will be uh, which is which contains most null values here that is also uh, not good, right. So, the ultimate step is this is good what we, we, we used to reduce the redundancy here but we used to increase increase the uh, number of null values right so this is not all this is also somewhat not good to maintain a good database so what is the ultimate goal is to decompose the given table into sub tables to decompose the given table into sub tables So, here the drawback of above representation is if student enrolled in only one course, then the number of null values exist in the table, more number of null values will be existed here like this. So, therefore, another way is to the last way is to decompose the above table into two tables, how we can able to decompose, right. So, in this manner, so roll number name and roll number course, just I have splitted the three column, this is what the table, roll number name and course, this is what the table which have already mentioned. So, this table can be splitted into two parts, what roll number name and roll number course here. So, by splitting, by splitting we can able to reduce the redundancy and we can able to reduce the null values also here. So, by splitting here see a roll number and name 1, 2, 3, A, B, C, X, Y, Z, P, Q, R. Here primary key will be roll number, why because here uh, always the IDs will be unique, we can consider primary key as roll number and in this case what will be the primary key or the candidate key, what will be the primary key, here by combining these two uniquely by see here if at all, if at all I used to consider only roll number as a primary key, it is correct, no, why because primary key must contain unique values and not null primary key must be not null. So, by considering only roll number we cannot or by considering only course we cannot able to retrieve the data why because it has the redundancy and here also we can have the redundancy. So, in this table in this sub table what is the primary key by considering the two columns by considering two columns then it will be a primary key or candidate key here. So, here the roll number and course by combining these two we can we can uniquely retrieve the data from the database. So, 1 C, see here roll, roll number 1 course C, roll number 1 CPP, not C here this is CPP, this is unique by, by considering these two we can uniquely retrieve the data from the database that is why here primary key will be both roll number and course, why because by, by considering single column we cannot retrieve why because single column contains the redundant data here. So, we can use to combine those two columns can be considered as a primary key. So, in this way we can able to remove the redundancy and at the same time the null values that is what about the first normal form. Thank you.